All right, so one more part to our looking at coordinate systems in ARC um, and how it handles reprojecting on the fly and manual reprojections. So we just looked at, in the last video, how to get um, something that was undefined, defining the coordinate system correctly, and then bringing it into ArcMap. And here we got our state boundary files to line up, even though their underlying coordinate systems on the hard drive are different. So let's look at one more way we could do this. So this is done on the fly. So it didn't change anything on the hard drive or on your network. And let's look at actually reprojecting the file to a different coordinate system. So I have my states uh, that earlier had no projection defined. I went on the website, found out what coordinate system it was, and labeled it using define projection tool to NAT83. Now, and then when I brought it in uh, to ArcMap, it did a reproject on the fly. Now, if I was doing analysis with a whole bunch of data sets, I'd want them to line up um, and all be stored in the same coordinate system. Let's see how we can switch this geographic one into a uh, Lambert conformal conic. So I'm going to go up to the search tool in our catalog, click on tools here, and type in project. So I'm going to look for tools that project uh, coordinate systems. Now I have a bunch of options here, so you're going to have to read through these to figure out which one for the most part you're going to use. I've got a project tool, I've got a define projection, and then I've got different tools for vector uh, and raster. So you have to make sure you're choosing the right one. So in this case, I want to reproject from one coordinate system to another, so I'm going to use this project tool. So uh, in general, you ought to have the uh, help open on these tools so you can learn what each of these different um, parameters are. As I switch between different parameters, I can look on the, the right over here to see what it's, the arc is looking for. I can also see with these green dots uh, uh, some of the required information that it needs before it's going to be able to run this. All right, so I'm going to grab the um, input data set, which is now in uh, geographic NAT83. And I'm going to tell it where to save it. I'm going to call this uh, States New Lambert Conformal Conic. And then for the R output coordinate system, I'm going to go in and I'm going to select that Lambert Conformal Conic that, I'm gonna, that I used in the other data set Continental, North America, US Lambert Conformal Conic here. Uh, same underlying datum, Lambert conformal conic. So this will line up now with that other data set that I've got. I say OK. Now all the green buttons over here, green dots are gone, meaning that it has everything that it needs. Uh, note that if I was switching underlying datums, if I was going from NAD27 to NAD83, I'd need to use the geographic transformation option. But since they're the same datum, it, that's not, uh, not, not needed here. So click OK. Notice a little uh, progress dialog down here at the bottom. This refreshes, and I get a new states file. So I'll close the search here, and then let's look at this in our catalog. And notice I've got a curve, lines of latitude. My coordinates down here at the bottom are uh, in eastings and northings. So this looks good. It looks like it reprojected it. And now I can bring that data set into arc map. And I've got the original Lambert conformal conic and the one I've just reprojected, and they line up. All right, so that's the second way by manually reprojecting that I can get one coordinate system to line up with another that I've got and get everything to work in ArcMap. Good luck. Uh, this is one of the most difficult topics for new um, and even advanced GIS students. Um, so there's probably no way around this except just. Um, messing around with coordinate systems and getting some experience figuring out how to do this and do this correctly. Good luck.